Well, hello there. Welcome to the Covering and Surrounding Test Review. Let's go ahead and put your seatbelt on, sharpen your pencil, let's go to work. All right, when I look at these shapes finding area of different things, our main uh, formula is the area is base times height, and that works for squares, for rectangles, and for the shape we're looking at here, a parallelogram. So I need to find my base. So my base of my shape is right here. So my base is four. I'm gonna get that information from the top base times height. Now my height is not going to be the three. That's the side of the, the shape, but my height is where I create that 90 degree angle from the base. So my height is actually two. So four times two is going to be eight. Um, my unit is meters and it's an area thing. So I'm going to put a two on there. So eight meters square is my answer for the first one. Um, the second one here, why don't you press pause and you try it out and press play and check your answer. All right, remember again, it's still base times height, so eight times my height, which is not seven, that's my side length. My height is gonna be four, and eight times four is 32. It's centimeters, and because we're talking area, it is squared. Let's try a couple more. Oh yeah, more parallelograms. Again, I'm gonna continue to use base times height. So my base is six, even though it's on the side of it, it's still based based upon my height. So I'm again looking for where I can find a base and where I can hide find a height that creates that perpendicular line. So this is going to be six times twelve, which is my base times height. I'm going to get seventy two is my answer. And you know what? There's no dimensions on here. I'm not going to. There's no units, so I'm going to write down um, u as my number squared. So the answer to this parallelogram is 72 units squared. Why don't you press pause and try the second one here, and then press play and see how we do. All right, on this guy, I'm gonna do in the base, which is 2.5 times the height, which is 1.8. 2.5 times 1.8 is 4.5 meters, and it is area. So it's gonna be squared. All area is squared. Perimeter is, um, there's no number up there. Let's keep going, ooh, triangles. So remember, um, squares, base times height. Rectangles, base times height. Parallelograms, base times height. Now triangles start that way. The area of a triangle is base times height, but then we divide it by two. We basically turn it into a parallelogram and then cut it in half is what we're doing. So we're just gonna trust our formula on this one. And so we're gonna do base, which is 14, times our height, which is five. Again, we're looking for that um, perpendicular piece here. We're not gonna use the side lengths, unless of course it's perpendicular, but they're not. The five is perpendicular. So I'm gonna take the 14 times five, and I get 70, and I'm gonna divide it by two, and I get 35. And 35, I have no uh, measurements, so I'm gonna do units, and it's area, so I'm gonna put the two. So 35 square units. Um, why don't you go ahead and press pause and try the second one. All right, I'm gonna do this one. Now my base is 14, and my height is 10. Some students have a misconception that you need to add this to the base, but it's not. This is not part of my triangle. I'm only gonna use the true base, which is 14. So let's keep going. So 14 times 10 is gonna be 140 divided by two. So my answer is 70 meters and it's area. So I'm gonna do square. I right, got two more triangles. Why don't you press pause for both of these? Try it out and then come back and check the answer. All right, again, I'm doing base times height for both of these. So up here, I'm gonna do my base is 150 times my height. Oh my goodness, I do not have a height on this. Um, let's see, this does not have a height. I can't solve this one. I think on your paper though, if you got downloaded the review, I gave you the height of it. Um, I think I gave you the height right here, right there. But if this was a normal situation we were solving this, well, we'd need the height, not the side length, so we actually couldn't solve this one. For the information given to us right here, cannot be solved. So I'm gonna move on. Let's go to this guy. Triangle N, 
PQ, we do have a base of 10 and a height of 6. So 10 times 6 is 60. My last step is to divide by 2. So it is 30 feet in its area, so it's going to be squared. All right, now we got a funky looking shape here. And to find the area of this guy, I'm going to break this into different pieces. So I'm going to take this guy here and find this square, which I know is a 4 by 5, and that's going to be 20. And then I'm going to draw a line here. And there's a couple different ways you can solve this. You can find your own pieces. This is just what I'm doing. And I know this is a base times height, so it's 3 by 6, which is going to be 18. And now this length right here, I know that all the way across is 9. And so, so far it's 4 and a 3, so I need to find out what's right here. And 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this has to be 2. Now let's find it right here also. So this right here is 5, and I've already used 2 of it. So this has to be 3. So 2 by 3. This is a 2 by 3, so that's going to be 6. So if I add those up, I've got a 20, and I've got an 18, and I've got a 6. If I add up all those areas, I'm going to get 44 all right, centimeters. And is this area? This is area. So I'm going to do the little 2. And there's my answer. And again, you can chunk it up in a couple different ways. Why don't you press pause and find this one? All right, I drew my line right here. Again, you can do it wherever you want. Just break it into rectangles. If I, this is a five by three rectangle, which is 15. And this right here is a two by, all right, so I've already used three. So there's three left to get to the full six. So it's a three by two with the six. So I'm gonna take 15 plus the six, and I get 21 feet area is going to be squared. Awesome. All right, surface area. Looks like we're looking at a rectangular prism here. I'm going to go ahead and find the different pieces. So right here, this is a 4 by 10. So a 4 by 10, this piece is 40. Um, down here, this is a, let's look right here, we've got a 17 by 10. So 17 by 10 is 1 70, and then I've got a 4 by, oh, 17. So it's a 4 by 17, and a 4 by 17 is going to be 68. Now notice this piece right here, this is a 10 by 17, and I already solved that, it's 170. Um, this one right here is a 4 by 17, which we already solved that, and that's 60. And this guy right here is a 4 by 10, which we already solved that, and that's 40. So then I just need to add them up. 40, two 40s, two 60s, and two 170s. And when I add the, that whole thing up, I get 556. And it's centimeters. And are we talking area? We are. Surface area. So I'm going to do a little two. All right, you try this guy. Press pause. All right, let's see what I did on this one. So I know that this one right here is an 11 by 6. So that's going to be 66. I know this one is a 5 by 6. So it's a 5 by 6, which is going to be 30. And I know this one is um, that's an 11 by 5. And that's 55. So I know this is the top. So there's a top and there's a bottom. I know that there are, oh, hello. There are two sides. And I know that there is a front and a back. So I'm going to add all those up. And I'm going to get 302 centimeters is my unit. And it's area, so I'm going to square it. Woohoo! Exciting. Whoa, two of them. Yikes. But fantastic. All right, we can do this. So this is a 5 by 4. So 5 by 4, which is 20. We've got a 3 by 4. So this 3 by 4 is going to be 12. 
And then we have uh, this guy right here, which is a 5 by, and that length is 3. So 5 by 3, which is going to be 15. So I've got two 15s. I've got two 12s. I've got two 20s. And when I add all that up, I end up with 94. Uh, it doesn't look like a 94. 94 centimeters area. Yep, a 2. Awesome. Now this net right here, this guy that I just drew all over the top of, it's it's actually this three-dimensional shape spread out. So I'm going to take my numbers here. Let's see if I can move my... Uh, I'm going to move this. I'm going to pause it. All right, if we look at the net of this one, we can see a 5 by 4, which is going to be 20. And we can see this is a 5 by... And that's a 3. That's over here. you got to recognize that. So that's going to be 15. And this lip right here, this is a 3 by, and that is a 3 by um, 4. That's a little harder to see, but that is a 3 by 4, which is going to be 12. And these actually are the same numbers we used on the previous one. So this answer, when you add them up, will be 94 centimeters squared. And again, this 4 is just, it is tricky to see that. And they end up right here. That's a 4. There's a four, there's a four right there. It's because when you fold them up, those side lengths have to match up to create a three-dimensional shape. Ooh, we've got rectangular prism over here. That looks like fun. Let's do that guy. So let's tackle this thing. Okay, so we've got, what, a six by two. That's a 6 by 2. And that's going to be 12. This is a 4.5 by 6. So that guy's 4.5 by 6. Which is going to be 27. And then we've got one more piece, which is this guy, which is 4.5 by, and that measurement right there, which can be hard to see because it's all the way over here. That's 2. So those two are going to be two. It's four and a half by two. How much gives us nine? And so we know all our pieces here. We've got a nine and a nine. We've got a 12 and a 12. And we have a 27 and a 27. And when I add all those up together, I should get 96. 96 inches. And this is area again, so I'm going to do squared. All right, I'm going to work these other two out. Actually, we should talk about this one. This guy is base times height divided by 2. So it's going to be 3.5 times... Well, that's my height. I'll, I'll do it. I'll follow the formula. So base, which is 4, times height, which is 3.5 divided by 2. So 4 times 3.5 divided by 2 equals 14 divided by 2, which is going to get 7. So I know that the, the two pieces are 7. Let's talk about this guy here. Rectangle. So it's a 4 by 6.5. So 4 times 6.5 is 26. And so I've got a 26, a 26, and a 26. And when I add my three 26s together and my two 7s, I am going to get, it looks like 92 um, inches squared. All right, this last guy here, okay, a triangle, so my base, which is 7, times my height, which is 7, divided by 2. So I've got um, 49, well, let me, 49 divided by 2, and that gives me 24.5. So the area of that guy is 24.5. If you notice, 1, 2, 3, 4, I have 4 of them. So 24.5 times 4. And then I also get this piece right here, which is a 7 by 7, which is 49. So I've got a 49 and four 24.5s. I should land at about 
I'm 122.5 inches squared. Oh, volume. Volume's nice. It's like a breather from surface area. Volume, yeah, just do some multiplying. The volume is length times width times height. So length 11 times, well, let's, let's get away from the x's. Let's do the dots. Length times width times height. 11 times 5 times 6 is 680 centimeters. And I'm talking volume, which is three dimensions. I need the three on there. Why don't I press pause and you guys find the volume of these shapes. Length times width times height. 5 times 3 times 4 is 60 centimeters cubed because it's a volume. All right, if we, this is a bonus question, so if you want to get in on this, you sure can. But um, this is going to be like extra credit, but this is a practice for the extra credit in case you get to that challenge point. So if we fill both the containers with jello and want to sell them, so we're talking about um, a couple different boxes from the previous problems. So one of the boxes is 300, is going to be 330 centimeters cubed, and the other box is 60 centimeters cubed. And the question is if we were going to sell these, um, Let's see that we charge three dollars for 18 centimeters. So for each 18, we're gonna um, charge three bucks. So I need to see how many 18s are in 330, and I need to see how many 18s are in 60. Okay, so 330 divided by 18 is 18.3, and then 60 divided by 18 is three. 0.3, but I want to see how much, um, so it's $3 for each one of those, so I need to take 18.3 times 3, and I need to take 3.3 times the $3, because this will tell us how much it, we charge for this. So if there's 18.3 uh, times the $3 for each one, we're going to be end up charging $54.90. Right about there. And for 3.3 times $3, it's going to be about $9.90. Interesting. Okay, for this one, ultimately trying to find which one is larger. I did length times width times height. I treated this one as a decimal, five and four six, I made it to two thirds, so 5.6, and I just used a whole bunch of sixes. 6.5, 5.5, so I said I did a bunch of sixes in, in my calculator to solve this. Um, this number I used 3.3, .3, a lot of threes, because that's one third, and I used 2.5, I used 3.75. So down here where goodness, it says yards, so I just, Turn it to feet to solve that out. But if I saw, find the volume of all these things, which is what I'd want you to do, I'd find, um, so press pause, find all the volumes, and let's come back and check your answers. Okay, we're back now. This is 202.58 cubic feet. This one is 31.249 cubic feet. This one here is 314.81 cubic feet, and this one is 290, whoa, no decimal, 290 cubic feet. So number four ends up becoming the answer. All right, that's it. Hey, good job. Thanks for hanging in there. Um, you guys are the best. So right now I'm going to dress up as a panda and see if I can run around the zoo and see if I can get a zookeeper to think that I got out loose. <laughs> that could be funny.